everyone. My name's Claire and I'm so happy to see you today. It's a great day. Do you know why it's a great day? Because I get to spend time with you and we get to learn another story about Jesus. Sharing is one of my favorite things to do. Do you like to share things? I like to share so many different things. I like to share my games. I like to share my books. But one of my favorite things to share is popcorn. All of my friends know that popcorn is my favorite snack and I love sharing my favorite snack with my friends. I wonder, do you have something that you like to share? I'm gonna to count to 10 and I want you to go and find something that you like to share and bring it back. Okay, are you ready, set, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What did you bring? Wow, look at all those things we can share. Today, we're gonna hear a true story from the Bible about sharing. Let's go to the clubhouse and watch.
we've got markers, string. What else do we need? Oh, hi there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Zoe, and I'm so happy to see you today. You can help me set up for a big party. Can you guess what type of party it is? It's a kite decorating party. My friends and I have been having so much fun playing with our kites that we want to make sure everyone we know has a kite. So we're all going to meet at the park later today for a special kite party. I can't wait. We invited our neighbor, Sean. I bet he's going to decorate his kite red because red is his very favorite color. We also invited my grandma, Annie. I bet she's going to call her her kite bright purple. She loves anything purple. We also invited Kai's cousin, Marie. I bet she's going to color her kite a tie-dye kite. It's going to be so cool. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Planning a special party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. My friends and I are all meeting at the park later today, so I can share all my supplies so everyone can make a kite. It will be a kite-making party. Sharing with our friends is a great thing to do. And I have just the story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Marquise, hope you're having fun in Florida. Your friend, Justin. Oh, hi there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. And today, look at this. I'm sending my own mail. My friend Marquise just moved to Florida with his family, and I'm mailing him a postcard to let him know that I'm thinking of him. Good friends are the best, aren't they? Which is what today's story is all about. Are you ready for a story? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus' friends who wanted to love people like Jesus loved them. So do you know what they did? Ask me, say, what did they do? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. They shared. If someone needed a coat, they gave him one of theirs. If someone needed a place to stay, they shared their home. If someone didn't have something to eat, they would give her something to eat. Jesus' friends were super sharers because that is how Jesus loved people. He shared with everyone. Jesus' friends spent lots of time together. They ate and talked and laughed. They loved each other because Jesus loved them. And do you know what else they would do? They would praise God. This showed everyone that they were friends with Jesus. I want to do that too. I want to be a friend like Jesus. I want to share with my friends so they know Jesus loves them and wants to be their friend forever. Raise your hand if you want to be a friend like Jesus. You do? Oh, oh and you do too? Okay, raise them up high, as high as you can. Higher, higher. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Let's be friends like Jesus and share so that everyone knows how much Jesus loves them. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. The people were friends and loved each other, just like Jesus showed them to. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that was such a great story. I love that people shared so everyone had what they needed. 
They were being loving and great friends, just like Jesus taught them to. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so happy that I get to share all the supplies with my friends, so everyone will have a kite. I'll see you next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. Wow, what a great story. Jesus is such a good friend that he taught us how to be a good friend. I am happy that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. I know what we could do. Let's dance together and celebrate that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Will you join me? Sometimes I like to go outside Sometimes I like to run and hide But I know all the time All the time You are with me Always with me Because wherever I go I know wherever I go Wherever I go I know God is with me Wherever I go I know wherever I go Wherever I go I know God is with me Whoa, 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 with me, with me Whoa, 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 with me He's whoa, 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 with me, with me God is with me When I am playing in my room It doesn't matter what I do Cause I know all the time Yeah, all the time You are with me Always with me Because friends is so much fun and we can all be friends with Jesus. Who wants to be our friend forever? Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Raise your hand if you would like to do a little science experiment. Awesome, me too. Okay, so we're gonna do this and I'm gonna show you how to make this happen and then you can do this at home. So, we're gonna watch and see what happens when I mix all these random ingredients together. All right, let's go find out. The first thing you're going to do is grab a pack of dry yeast and add it to warm water. Then you wanna grab your hydrogen peroxide, your Dawn dish soap, and some food coloring. And you're gonna add the food coloring into a clear plastic bottle. Then you're gonna pour a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into the bottle. The next step, you're gonna add a fourth cup of Dawn dish soap into the mixture. Let's see what it's going to do. After the yeast has sat in the water for five minutes, you're going to add it into the bottle and you're gonna watch it expand and then come shooting out and look, it's just flowing and flowing. There's so much 
toothpaste coming out of the bottle. Wow! You can enjoy watching the mixture keep flowing and flowing and flowing for a couple of minutes. Enjoy! Wow! Did you see how it exploded out of the bottle? This little experiment is called elephant toothpaste. Isn't that a funny name? This reminds me of Jesus' love for us. When we share Jesus' love, it spreads and explodes everywhere. Jesus loves you and wants you to share with others. Aren't you so happy to know that Jesus wants to be your friend forever? Who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus. And just like the elephant toothpaste got bigger and bigger and bigger, Jesus' love just keeps growing and growing and growing. Friends, thank you for joining me today. Let's pray and then it's time to say goodbye. Friends, it's time to pray. Would you close your eyes and bow your heads with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus. God, we thank you that he longs to be our friend and that he shows us how to be a good friend. God, I thank you for your big, big love for us that just continues to overflow like the elephant toothpaste that we saw today. God, I thank you for your great love. God, I pray that these children would come to know how much you love each one of them. Thank you for this time together. Amen. Amen. Bye, friends. Have a good week. I'll see you next Sunday.